Hi everyone, my name is Pete Green and I'm an Associate Professor in the Department of Ecology, Environment and Evolution here at La Trobe. I'm also the course coordinator for the Bachelor of Science, Wildlife and Conservation Biology degree. There's no doubt that the natural world faces some very serious challenges right across the globe. And even in our own backyard, those challenges have really been brought into sharp focus by the summer bushfires. I sense a groundswell of optimism about what we can do to help conserve species in their ecosystems. And we find that students coming into the WCB degree are passionate about what they can do to help conserve nature and manage it carefully and wisely. Our aim in this degree is to provide you with the knowledge and practical experiences you'll need to be truly effective conservation biologists once you leave the university. In this course, you'll be exposed to many ideas around biodiversity and the different approaches to conserving species and ecosystems. And you'll have to do various subjects related to endangered species biology and some of the big issues in conservation. Should we translocate species in the face of climate change? How do we select species for special conservation attention? Do we pay enough attention to the little species that really run the world, like insects and other invertebrates? Do we pay enough attention to the little species that really run the world, like insects and other invertebrates? You'll take a lot of biology subjects such as zoology, botany and genetics, but you'll also learn about environmental law. We'll also give you the opportunity to study the economics of conservation and climate change politics. A strong theme running through most of the biology subjects is quantitative skills like data collection, handling and analysis using statistics. We know those quant skills can be a bit of a drag for undergraduates to slog through, but these are critical to making evidence-based decisions in conservation. That's been front and centre recently with the Royal Commission into the summer bushfires and the recent decision to ban feral horses from the alpine areas of Victoria. Students love the WCB degree, and by far the bits they love the best are their prac experiences. In first year, these will mostly be in the lab, as you do your general biology subjects, but at La Trobe we're really committed to the idea that students learn the best in the field, so we take you there as much as we can. The first extended field trip you'll take as a second year uh, WCB student is to Wilson's Prom and that'll be in February, uh, just before the start of your second year. We'll also take you out to Natamuck, out in the western districts of Victoria later in the year uh, to learn about plant biodiversity. In third year, uh, you get a really broad choice of uh, six different field trips, and they cover everything from animal physiology through to geology and plant life, climate change in the Alps, and many things besides. All of these courses run for about a week and each of them is a standalone subject. A real strength of the course is the people who teach in it. All of the lecturers are active conservation biologists and we work with a range of state and commonwealth agencies to do the research that informs their conservation decisions. We're active in voicing our opinions on matters of public conservation interest and we actively participate in management by sitting on parks advisory panels and the like. For example, John Morgan, who's in the photo that you can see there, is one of Victoria's best field botanists and has a deep passion for the ecology and conservation of our native grasslands. Another colleague, Eloise Gibb, is currently working on a series of studies looking at how the reintroduction of endangered mammals like bilbies benefit native ecosystems. You may have seen Mike Clark recently in the news talking about the recent bushfires. I work very closely with Parks Australia on Christmas Island to help manage that very special ecosystem out there. These are just a few of the ways in which we academics engage with the decision makers and managers who have responsibility for biodiversity conservation in the state and nationally. And we bring these experiences and insights with us into the classroom. Another real asset for the course is the Latrobe Wildlife Sanctuary, which is right on our northern doorstep on the edge of the campus. This is really our very own long-term experiment in habitat rehabilitation. The sanctuary started life decades ago as a cow paddock, which has slowly been restored over time with a lot of hard work and dedication. You'll do some pracs in there, and it's a great place to be a volunteer. 
The main way to get accepted into the degree is via VTAC, and the ATAR is usually around the high 70s to about 80. It's a three-year course like most others, uh, and there's a possibility of honours, masters, and even a PhD after that. Students with a strong track record of community involvement can apply via La Trobe's Aspire program, and there are more details on the Aspire website. Some students start at La Trobe in the Bachelor of Biological Sciences degree, and if they do well enough in first year, I can consider a transfer into the WCB degree starting in second year. You want to know what sort of jobs our graduates get. Our graduates are very successful in getting jobs in conservation and natural resource management, and they wind up in a variety of locations. Some get jobs as biological consultants. These are people who work for private companies that are engaged by businesses who want to undertake large developments. Legislation requires that all sorts of biological surveys have to be done on site, and that's what consultants do. They do biological survey work. We teach our graduates skills in plant and animal ID, so our graduates are really attractive to those sorts of companies. Other graduates end up working with government research and management organisations like catchment management authorities, Parks Victoria, Melbourne Water and the like. I think the best way to get a sense though of the kinds of jobs that are out there is to visit the NRM Jobs website. This is probably the main website in Australia where these kinds of jobs are posted and you can subscribe for free. Besides doing well in your studies, you can do other things during your degree that will make you more attractive to employers once you've finished. For example, in third year, you'll have an opportunity to take a work placement subject. This is something that you probably, or you will organise for yourself, uh, but you can do it for credit towards your degree. Another thing that you can do during your undergraduate degree is to volunteer with your local friends group, perhaps at the Wildlife Sanctuary, just off the edge of La Trobe, and other opportunities like that. Employers are always looking for standout students who are motivated to make a change. This is a great degree, and as I said at the start, our main aim is to harness your passion for the environment and give you the theoretical foundations and practical experience you'll need to help manage and save our natural world. I really hope to see you here in the future Thanks for listening and we'd really welcome your questions.